We already designed and defined the solar panels components. This lecture will teach you how to define the materials for each layer of the solar panel. Before you proceed, you must know what properties we want in the analysis. First of all, all of the thermal processes that will occur on or within the solar panel are based on the four equations shown here. According to Fourier's law, heat transfer happens by conduction inside the layers as well as between them. Also, heat will be transferred to the surrounding air by convection from ETFE and CFRP layers. Furthermore, by radiation to the surrounding environment. Lastly, the variation in surface temperatures of each layer is governed by the first law of thermodynamics, where the heat added or removed is equal to the mass multiplied by specific heat and by the difference between final and initial temperature of the substance. Therefore, the properties required in the simulation are all of these employed in these equations. They are the density, specific heat, and thermal conductivity. The required properties obtained from the reference thermal behavior of monocrystalline silicon solar cells are shown here for each layer. Now that we have covered the basics, let's get to the answers.